Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Love at the Lock Up. This is season something, episode nine. Oh, season five, duh. Season five, episode nine. Okay. The foolishness is continuing, honey. And I'm like, when is this rag going to be over? I feel like we have like two more episodes because the new season of Love. No, of life after lockup, I believe starts um like December first, and usually, you know, they don't play at the same time. So we must only have two more episodes or whatever. Which is weird because this is episode nine to end the, the season with eleven episodes. That's a little bit weird, or maybe we'll get I, I don't know. Maybe next week will be one episode of one hour, and then the following. We will have a two hour finale, which will kind of be like three episodes, but we don't know. Okay, but I will be reviewing Life After Lockup, which starts in December. Okay, but anyway, happy, happy Sunday! Happy, happy Sunday! If you are a, if you're, if you are a member, you will already be seeing this at whatever time you woke up, you can look at it. Okay, if you're not a member, this will premiere around 1 p.m., I think. We shall see, because I'm also going to do a premiere for um, Love and Marriage Huntsville. I'm going to probably also do a gossip chat, but we have to see. But if you round here, just look around, okay? It's content all around you. But y'all know first things first, if you've not done so already, take a little second, okay, and subscribe to my channel. Become a whole J-Bird, J-Bird, Don, 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 and the Don, okay? Because y'all love me. I love y'all. And this is a great place to be. You can also like the video, okay? Like the video. It always helps. And we are just thank you for liking, okay? Um, like the video, comment in the comment section. Uh, share the video. You can also follow me on social media at Jaylee's Corner on IG, Twitter, and TikTok. Now, even though it's late, I'm here. Hi, okay, it is like 1.30 in the morning, but I am here nonetheless, okay? But let's get into what it is to do what to get into. And let's start with Louie and Melissa, okay? Now, Melissa is all in love with Louie. Oh, my God, Louie. High school Louie. I'm dating Louie. Louie, don't cheat on me, Louie. Louie, Louie, Louie. I was like, girl, not what's going on, okay? Now, he been out of prison for a whole month. Okay, she back down there in Jersey. He's still down there in Atlanta. And she feel like, I don't know if I like him as much or whatever. So Louis is now working at the little pizza place with his friend had or whatever. But Melissa feel like Louis is around here and he's a bit aggravating. He's like a child. He's calling me with weird questions and because he's so dependent upon the people or whatever. And I don't know if this is him forever. I don't know what it is. But I feel like my family was right about him, but I don't want to admit that was right because I don't know what's going on. So she said he's always calling me and asking me stuff as if he's stupid. I say, not he's stupid. When he becomes stupid, was he scared? You either want that man, you don't. And my thing is this: I would, I feel like once you see your crush with no teeth, that's when the love should leave. But she saw that man with no teeth and was jealous. And not a month later, not so much. Okay, so we see look the little conversation a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit for the best one. And he's like, hey. You know, um, I, I downloaded the Netflix app, okay? I have the app for Netflix. I don't have a password or an account. Do you have that? Can I use your account? And she was like, oh, my God, Louie. We then seen the phone call from saying, you know, how I need to transfer some money from my savings to my check-ins. Can you let me know how to transfer money from my savings to my check-ins, and she was like, oh, my God, Louis, just Google it. And I was like, first of all, I have a few accounts, okay? And when I'm transferring between, you know, my savings and my check-ins, or even my two, the two, I got a lot of accounts, okay? But when I'm transferring money, it, it, it can be confusing if you don't know how to do it, because how you transfer money on an app from your cell phone versus from the computer on the website is different. And if he, because again, he been in jail 10 years, 
Okay, and technology has changed a lot in 10 years. And even before that, he was a whole drug addict, okay? He was a whole drug addict and fool before he went to prison 10 years ago. So he could really be like an idiot, okay? Because before, all he cared about was drugs. And that was really it. So I'm like, he may be done. Okay, and he also called us, hey, you know, I know we're talking, I wanted to eat more fish or whatever. I want to have more fish in my diet. What kind of fish you like? Oh my God, no. And I'm like, those are like regular questions boyfriends ask their girlfriends, okay? that Look, dudes be dumb. They do. You know, they do. The same way we call men and ask them like car questions or my oil light has been on for six months. Should I get that checked out? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like you know, people who date, you 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 call each other and ask the stupidest of questions as if you don't have Google or you don't have Siri, okay? But I'm like, she was flipping out as if he, I'm like, girl, that's regular things, okay? And I'm like, again, he was in prison for 10 years. He may not know this stuff, and he probably don't want to ask his mom. You don't have to get used to that, okay? So anyway, we see, I just see this, oh, he gets aggravated or whatever, okay? Uh, now, she's going down to see him soon, okay, because he's getting them dentures, okay, he's getting his teeth done and she paying for it, okay, and because she's paying the $4,500 it's going to cost for him, to, for them to pull the rest of his little 617 and then fit him for dentures she's paying for it, okay now as we see she's a mail carrier and a bartender using her good government money for this man's teeth. Okay, anyway, but she like, I just wish she would do things and stuff or whatever. When she said, you know, he's working, he's down there working 50 hours a week, but it does not matter because he's not making much money. I was like, first of all, ma'am, that man is a former drug addict in bank robbery. Was it, was it bank robbery? Was it bank robbery? Well, armed robbery. Okay, armed robbery felon. Who, he don't have many choices. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't got no teeth. So he probably just want to be with comfortable. And he's only about a month. You know, so just like, I just need him to do more. I need him to put forth more of an effort because he's just sticking around and doing things that's easy for him and, and not much more. Now, I feel like, yes, she should want him to be better, to do better, to have more. But if he's moving to, to um, Jersey, what kind of job can he get in Atlanta? When they know he's leaving. And again, he ain't got no skills. All he know how to do is, is rob, rob the armory things, okay? And flip pieces. So he's using what he got to get to get what he wants. But again, it's just it's how she's talk. I'm like, that lady said that man works 50 hours a week. That ain't nothing because he's not making no money. I was like, I mean, at least he's working. At least he's not somewhere around here banging some chick and getting high. I think when you when you date somebody in prison and you know what they like be like or whatever, you know they were like, how are you expecting him to come out? And be, what did you think was gonna happen? I'm confused. Okay, so they on the phone or whatever, and he thinks I want to show you something. Okay, and he shows her a car, and I was like, oh, so this is what happened. Okay, he bought himself a car, <laughs> and she's pissed, Louis. <sighs> You're such an idiot. I can't believe that. You know, you bought a hunk of junk. You're going to end up living in. I'm like, now he's going he to live in his car? Now, the issue I would have had was because he spent $5,000 on this used car. And she said, and I'm spending $4,500 on your teeth. I said, well, you you offered that to that man. If he know, well, she paid for my teeth. And he do me the car. And he bought a used car for five thousand. I mean, it's a little some some. He only been out of jail a month. I feel like, girl, you beg to be with him now. You being choosy. You knew the man was in prison. You knew that man didn't have no skills. You knew that man was a former drug addict. Why are you making it seem as if he's just dumb, dumb daddy? Okay, I'm like that man is just really living a sober life finally. So everything is a bit new to him. And my thing, and I'm not making excuses. I'm not. I'm not trying to say accept him for the the slacker he is. My point is, she knew he was a robbery felon 
10 years in, no teeth have in person. She also knew once he got out, he was not going to be able to be, he can't go be a, C, a, a CEO somewhere. So I just felt like she was being too harsh considering she knew who he was when she got with him. Now, he may have been Louis from high school, but it was 20 years out of school. You know what I'm saying? And when she, you're going to probably have to live in a car. I'm like, are you breaking up with her? It's like, why are you going to live in a car? <laughs> How do you hear? Is his mama dead? Like, he can't, live, he, he can't live at his mama's house? I was like, girl, anyway. We see her go get a massage with her sister. Hey, oh my God, I got this man rubbing all on me. And I remember me being upset at Louie and, and Louie and the dance teacher. And if Louie had some girl rubbing all on him, I would be pissed. I would be livid. Then get that man off you. You know what I'm saying? But she told her sister, no, the sister man said, you know what? It seems like you was really into him before, but not so much now. And this is well, yeah, you know, I feel like the whole fantasy of me being with Louis from high school, like it's a bit different now, or whatever. And I just wonder if how he is now really is who he is, or if that's just who he is right now. I'm like, man, he's fresh out of prison. He's not even staying in Atlanta. He's moving to Jersey, supposedly to be with you. So what do you want? What do you want, girl? Before, but first of all. Make up your mind before you get them dentures, okay? Because you probably can't. I mean, because you, you can take them back, but and do what with them, okay? Anyway, the sister is then like, you know what? He's gonna always be a drug addict. You know, he'll always be a drug addict, okay? So keep your guard up, okay? Because my ex was clean, but then he wasn't. And he they, they would lie to your face. I was like, girl, how do you hear? So apparently, the sister as an ex who was also a drug addict, okay? And Melissa, like, well, first of all, Louis clean, you know, he's not an addict, he's not, he's, he's not a current addict, he's clean right now. No, 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 he's an addict, because they're all right. I'm like, what the fuck? The sisters are crying, because she's crying on the massage. How you naked crying at the massage table in front of the massage people, okay? And, you know, because I'm just, and she's like, oh, shit, okay? So, the sister's ex, who was also the father of her son, died from a drug overdose, okay? So she's having a hard time because she feels like you are dating a drug addict, like I was, okay? And you're, he's gonna die. And I was like, girl, and Melissa, like, I know it's hard for her, you know what I'm saying? Because she was in denial about her man. And so she was in, she said, the sister was in denial about the ex being on drugs. And I guess the, whatever the situation was, okay, and so the sister doesn't believe anybody can stay clean, can stay sober, can stay in recovery, okay, and not relapse, because her experience was her person could not stay clean. I was like, man, you do know a lot of people who do drugs and drink, they get, they, they, they don't relapse. It's like, it's, I feel like the sister trying to push what she went through onto Melissa isn't fair, one, he's only about a month, okay? Two, he's in a whole different state. And how are you judging him? You haven't seen him? It's, it's weird or whatever. I mean, I get her saying once an addict, always an addict. But that does not mean once once a using addict, always a using addict. It just means addicts are always fighting to stay sober and clean for the rest of their lives. Meaning all addicts say, I know for a fact I will be an addict for the rest of my life and I have to stay clean and sober or else I will be a used and addict, okay? And so the sister, you know, I just can't hear so sad, I'm so sad for it, blah, 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 blah. And then Melissa, well, I, I get, you know, Louis, you know, I get he's an addict, you know what I'm saying? And I get he will always be one. However, he is not currently, you know, relapsing, you know what I'm saying? So... Maybe he won't be the man I want him to be, but I can't say he high right now. And I feel like this is the right shit. Because it's nothing worse than somebody telling you your purse, you're going to, you should just leave because he's going to hurt you. He's going to lie to your face uh, because of what she went through. And I'm like, not, you know what I'm saying? There's a difference between, hey, let me be sure to tell you, keep your eyes open just in case. Versus saying they're gonna get high again, 
and it's gonna fail. And I'm like, girl, get your crying ass out of here. Uh, you know, it's just it's, 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 it's a fine line. But again, she she wanted them. Let it happen, okay? Now let's move on to Chelsea and Mikey. Child, you know what? Even though I had high hopes for them before, I don't think I have them same high hopes now, okay? I think both of them lied to themselves, okay? And maybe for a check. So <laughs> maybe for the check. So you know, Mikey visited his daughter. The daughter left. The big mom took a picture up or whatever. It was fine, fine, fine. You know, he like, yeah, my daughter loved you. You know what I'm saying? She is learning sign language for you, whatever. It's a good, good time. I'm happy I was able to meet. And she's like, I'm happy too. Well, she can say, fine. She, you know, I'm happy too. Blah, 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 blah. So he then said, hey, we should go out to dinner. And she said, hi, we got no money. We broke. And he said, well, now, you know, I borrowed some money from my sister so I can take you out to eat. And she said, oh, well, I, I guess so. But she tells us how for her, you know, I'm broke and I'm also stubborn. I don't like borrowing money from people. Like if I need money, I won't ask or whatever. So I'm too proud to ask anyone to borrow money. And if he ever asked me to borrow money, I would be like, no. And saying that she has kids to take care of and she can't be worried about you know taking care of him and her and I said well ma'am you had kids to take care of two years ago because they had been talking for two years so again it's weird for me when people get with these prisoners and they know their life situations or how they feel so for her to say well I can't take care of him you know I can't you know, I, I have to worry about my kids. That's what that ain't never changed. You know what I'm saying? You are here with you are spending money and time away from your kids to be with him. So clearly, you also want to spend a little time, a little money on him. Okay. And I feel like because she got that information that her 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 assistance is being cut off, she's like, I gotta go. I can't be I can't be spending all my money. Not they not of, and also why are they the men in prison, knowing when they get out, they may not have nothing and will need your assistance if you know you're not willing to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm leave that be. So I, I never understand why people get with people in prison, knowing they're gonna need help, but then like I can't help you. Fuck you. I also don't get why anybody gets with somebody in prison who don't live in a state. I'm like, the fuck? That don't make no sense. Anyway. They had dinner. You know what I'm saying? A little, 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 like, 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 or something. I don't know. A little Dennis. I don't know. Something. And he like, you know, so like our, you know, so they, they, they talking about sex. You know what I'm saying? And he said, look, I, I, I care for her. I care for her a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? And I do want to have sex with her. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I ain't had sex in four years. So I, I want some sex. Okay. So, they talking or whatever, you know, she brings up how she's never dated anyone who's also deaf. She was like, I don't like, she's like, deaf guys are the time I think. But she's never had sex with a deaf guy or nothing like that. Now, he, it was a little bit weird because, like, you know, I would, I think, you know, uh, I, I wonder what sound you, I was like, nah, you wonder how she sound. <laughs> I said, what the fuck? What? Okay. Um, it was weird. Okay. Uh, but she was like, you know, I'm not. She said, well, are we going to have sex? Will, will we do it? And she said, I don't know. I just, I just met you. You know, I don't, I don't know. And she said, we, she said, we, we, I don't know. You, know, you can't expect me to just give it up. And I'm not, well, okay, not girl, have them standards or whatever. We, look, when you are dating a prisoner, have good standards. You know what I'm saying? Don't be just giving it up to any old prisoner. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> He said, what you mean? Because she said, like, I don't really know you. You know what I'm saying? We, we just, we get, I need to get to know you, okay? So he said, we've been dating for two years. I don't think we're strangers. And I said, well, y'all not strangers. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all body parts don't know each other, okay? And then she's like, well, you don't know what I've been through. He's like, well, what happened? What, what happened? They don't discuss it then, okay? On the ride home, he said, I think, you know, can we possibly has sex tonight because sex sex feels real good. And she was like, What? No, just watch porn. I was 
when she said just watch porn, I said, girl, he already been doing that. Okay. Um, be like, I, I want to have sex with you. I'm like, I don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. Now she's also leaving like a day or so. So he like, once she's gone, I'm gonna be here alone. I ain't had sex in four years. And since I'll be in Kentucky and she'll be in Ohio. So I just hope before she leaves, like, I can I can get some. Okay. Now look, he's not pressuring her, but he is just like trying to have a conversation because he want to hit that. Okay. I'm like, first of all, do you just want to see what she sound like? I just wonder. Okay. Anyway, back at the hotel, she sits him down and she has a conversation about what happened to her and why she's hesitant to have sex. So again, she's like, in my past, I've been through a lot. I had an ex who will repeatedly take my cooch. You know what I'm saying? So she's saying because of that, because of that trauma, um, it's hard for me to kind of connect with people and just just freely have sex when it was taken from me before. And then she says how she's never had a sober or healthy relationship in her life. Okay. So it's a lot of pain within herself that she's, you know, tried to harm herself in the past or whatever. And he's like, why didn't you tell me none of this stuff two years ago? You know what I'm saying? Like, why you didn't, like, discuss this with me? She's like, well, I felt like I wanted to discuss it face-to-face. He was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you experienced that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love you. I'm always here for you. Like, I, it's okay. I get it. We don't have to rush. It can be fine, fine, fine. And when she's like, you know, I've never had somebody just sit here and, like, just talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this is this is good for me. Okay. I need you to help me come out, come on my shell, okay? But I need you to, I need you to help me or be comfortable with me for me to warm up to you in person. You know what I'm saying? Even though they've been talking on the phone for three years, okay, which is fine by me. Um, and she's like, it could be like five or six months. He said, I'm here, it's fine. I'm here for you, whatever you need. I'm not gonna rush you. I'm pissed that you went through that. I was in the prison thing with folks who was accused and found guilty of those things, and I hate that too. So I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? It's it's fine, fine, fine. Hug, 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay. And she then say, I felt like had I told you this two years ago, you wouldn't have kept talking to me. He's like, Well, no, not at all. Now, first he's lying. I do feel like if she would have said, Hey. Even once you get out, I probably would not want to have sex with you because of my past and blah, blah, blah. I do think he probably would. Like, he maybe have kept pen pal on her, but I don't think he would have tried to have a life with her on the outside. I don't think it would have been him planning to move to Ohio with her if he felt like I'm going to move out of, out of prison and, and be around there and still not be doing it. I just don't, I don't believe that. Now, him talking to her, he put on a good front, in my opinion. However, I feel like had she told him that two years ago, they would not be on the show. That's my personal opinion, okay? So, they then took out the hotel because she's she like, I ain't got no money to be spent on this hotel, so they're going to stay at the at the sister's house. You know I'm saying? They stopped at a little music store or whatever. He played a keyboard in the prison to help him stay calm and whatnot. She liked the drum because the drums she can feel the vibrations. So she bang on the drum and feel the vibrations. He playing the the like the keyboard, and then the owner said, "Hey, she should sit down and touch the amp because she can then feel the vibrations of the keyboard." I'm like, that was nice because her thing was I can feel vibrations, and that's how she hears music. So it was cool have the owner say, "Yeah, let her like sit down on that amp and then like just touch it, and you'll be able to feel the what he's playing." It was cute. You know, he then had her, like, put her hand around his neck as he talked. And that way she could feel the vibrations of him talking to kind of hear his voice. You know what I'm saying? It was corny because he was rapping. I was like, why are you rapping? You're a rapper? You're a white rapper? From Kentucky? You're not Paul Wall. And I don't think Paul Wall from Kentucky. I'm just saying, anyway. Uh, you know, it, it was it was cute and sweet, but I'm like, oh, don't rap. Don't do that, okay? So we then see Chelsea leaving or whatever. They all hug, 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 kiss, kiss, kiss. Um, he said, I can come see you in 30 days because my PO said it take 30 days to get the little, the little travel pass or whatever. So I'm going to come see you in 30 days. Okay, look, don't get in no trouble. Don't cheat. 
He's like, no, loyalty. Because he has a loyalty type uh, tattoo on his arm. So he's like, no, I'm loyal. Loyalty. And I was like, okay. Um, and then <laughs> she, she's like, if he gets in trouble and if he cheats, like he will never see me again. Like I will not want to see him. And she pulled off. He's like, you know what? I'm worried when she's gone because in the past I was a sexual deviant, okay? And I was never able to stay faithful. And so I'm worried about the 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 girl with the distance or just her not being there or whatever. And I said, he don't fuck somebody. He he is. Because I was gonna be mean because I was gonna say, if you fuck somebody, how she gonna hear about it? Because she girl stop it. Anyway, um, I don't believe they're gonna make it because again, she needs somebody who wants to wait for her and he don't want to wait no more. She would have been better off dating somebody in real life. Who she could have been talking because she's been talking to him for two years. So if you was able to talk to him for two years, talk to somebody in real life for that time to get used to them and then do it to them. But when you no tea, no shade, when you date somebody in prison, they want to come home for some coochie or dick. You know what I'm saying? They want to come home to get some wet or stuffed. Um, they want they want to put their drumstick. Okay. In somebody's uh uh flat, you know what I'm saying? Chicken. Anyway, so I was like, I don't, I I think he's gonna cheat. I don't think they're gonna make it. And then it's gonna be updates. Uh, Mikey cheated. Chelsea never talked to him again. Okay, we are gonna see. Anyway, next up, Joy no girl, Joy know me, Joy and Red. I was like, these is here. Jesus, please fix it. But first, I need y'all to take a little second and like the video. Y'all don't like it is the thing to do. Joy and red. Look, I the foolishness. His mama is foolish. Now I've heard rumblings of of past uh, accusations, past charges of the mama from 20, 30 years ago. I don't have no, I have no comment on that. Um, I see people all keep like tag. I'm, I don't know. And let her be where she at. Okay. If she's on the registry, did that I, I ain't looked into it. And I feel like the mama ain't a part of the story because they're going to Mexico. Okay. However, Joy and Red, okay, is round here together. And first of all, Red got locked on, and they must have mixed the scenes up because one moment the locks were done, and then they weren't, and they were again. So like that, it was out of order. Anyway, but they back at the mama house. Say, hey mama, hey mama, hey mama. Okay, it's mama there. Uh, I think the cousins, maybe your auntie or whatever. Because again, he only been home for two days, so. Joy, like, I don't think Red being honest, you know what I'm saying, being fully honest about his family, about how fast we're leaving to go back to Mexico. Joy has to go back to work. You know what I'm saying? And the mom then said, hey, yeah, tomorrow uh, I'm going to cook dinner, like, tomorrow night. Like, can y'all come tomorrow night? Oh, uh, uh, mama, um, I don't know because we might be leaving tomorrow. And she was like, what? Fuck you mean leaving and the mama again well because I I should have got a if I save a, a regular oh no I don't know the mama is upset the mama upset 
the cousin upset, the auntie upset. I'm like, why? I'm like, why y'all so upset? Why y'all so mad? Okay, the mama, you've been gone for ten years. You've been gone ten years. You should be with your family. Okay, for a little bit, I was like, ma'am, ma'am, um, I get it. That's her baby. That's her son. He's been gone 10 years. She's had to go visit him for the past 10 years. And he home. And he want to leave her for some harlot from New Mexico. Okay. And the mama just said, I've been, I've been visiting you. And I've been coming to see you. And you've been gone for 10 years. And why would you want to abandon me? And then the auntie and the cousin's like, yeah, we've been waiting 10 years for you. We've been waiting. You posted with us, cousin. Why are you leaving? He like, look, I am 30 years old. You know what I'm saying I have to start my life. I've been gone. I get it. Yes, yes. I I feel bad having to leave y'all. Okay. But I need to make this next step for me. It breaks my heart, but I'm done with Missouri. You know what I'm saying? But you just got back. Okay. We've been waiting 10 years and, and joy. Joy don't even really matter. Okay. Because she ain't been around here. You know what I'm saying? You don't even really know her. You just meet her in real life. You don't know her, okay? You need to be the man of this house, okay? We ain't had a man of this house since you left. I said, if y'all have not had a man of the house in 10 years, in 10, girl, 10 years ago, he was 20. He wasn't the man then, okay? So y'all have been waiting for Red to come home to be the man of the house. That is That shows... It's some dysfunction up in there. It's it's a whole bunch of dysfunk and shunt, okay? And they was like, Joy, you should be encouraging him to stay here with us. And she was like, I want the best for him. You know what I'm saying? And this is really, this is where he got in trouble. I said, he should come with me. We have a life together. We have a child. Now, he ain't a child. Anyway. They then said we can we can we can help him get out of trouble. Okay, he can be here in the house. Okay, because he only been here two days. And I was like, first of all, for them to say, okay, now we can keep him out. Y'all, y'all felt first. <laughs> he, like she said, he got in trouble here. I want what's best for him, and he wants to leave here. Okay, and Red feel like, look, Red like, look, Missouri is a state where in our prisons. I don't like it here. This state ruined me. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of that shit. I don't want to be. I do not want to be in Missouri. This, this is where I got in trouble. I don't want to be here and get wrapped up in the bullshit again and get sent back. I love Joy. This is my wife, and I want to have to have our family. And I was like, I mean, look. If him and Joy don't work out, go back to Missouri. Go back to Missouri. I get them like, we don't know her. We don't know nobody in New Mexico. You don't speak Mexico. You speak Spanish. Okay. But is he, they feel like you don't know nothing to leave with her and leave us. But I feel like that's his decision. That is his decision. And fussing and arguing about it don't really help nothing. And then trying to play, like, we don't know her. She ain't shit. She don't matter. I was like, what the, what, 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 what happened? Okay. When the mama said, she ain't went and visited you in prison, I did. I took them long trips on them dark roads. That was me. Now, I say, ma'am, why are you trying to compare yourself to Joy? He fucking Joy. Okay. Right now, he want to follow the cooch. You know hear I me? Mean? And... Once he said to y'all, I love her and I want to have, I want to start my life. I need to start my life and I want to start it with her in Mexico. Now, is that crazy? Absolutely. But this shows her <laughs> because the mama storms off, pissed off, the cousin, the auntie, they not, I'm like, why are y'all knocking shit up? Why y'all, honey, they knocking shit over in that little bit of living room. I'm like, look. As a plus size person, I can let this. It's too, it was too many big people in that little space for y'all to be knocking. I was like, girl, what is going on? Y'all knocking on chairs and slamming doors. And I was like, what's going on? Okay. And you know, he don't know. The mama then said, he don't know shit about New Mexico. 
Okay, he gonna leave too quick. Now the sister get there, and she's like, "What's what the fuck is going on?" And she walk in with some with some Domino's pizza. Okay, and she's like, "I'm like, what? Where? What's going on? What happened? What happened?" Okay, and he like, "Look, I'm leaving. Me and Joy going to is going to New Mexico, and like I just told Mama them or whatever, and they are mad." And she's like, "Oh, okay." Now him and Joy, bruh. He was hungry because the soon as the sister brought in the pizza, he started eating. Okay. I'm like, sir, wait. <laughs> wait a second. He up there fussing with the mama eating pizza. Okay. And but the sister's like, look, you know, if he wants to go, I don't want him to, but you know what I'm saying? That's his life. I can't tell him what to do. You know, enjoy. Like, I will make sure he comes back to visit. I will make sure. He will come visit y'all. He's not leaving forever. It's not, a, it's not as if y'all will never see him again. We just go, we just moving to New Mexico. The mom come by the front. This is a bullshit. I don't care. I am pissed. I don't care. Joy, how are you helping him? And how are you okay with him abandoning me? He is abandoning us. Okay. I, you, you, I don't care. I, I'm like, man, how is he abandoning y'all? That's your son. He can not abandon you. Red is <laughs> red is just up there eating a the pizza. He eat the pizza. You know what I'm saying? He, he wanted spices. I'm like, sir, calm down. Okay. And red and the mama fussed him back and forth, whatever. And the whole time red is eating this pizza. You know what? Mom, you are disrespecting my wife. Okay. You acting up. I'm leaving. And he said, I'm gonna get some pizza slices. I'm gonna get some pizza slices and I'm out. And he picked he, by him, he picked up like three slices of pizza. He walked out the door. And I was like, not black folk fussing and eating pizza and taking pizza to go without no plate. And I'm like, fine, leave. Fine. And take her with you. I was like, what? Do I like, how the fuck I get in this? How you mad at me? What the fuck did I do? Okay. No, you get out of here and take her with you. You better hope. You better hope you don't need me in life and joy. I hope you happy. Okay. You you broken up our family. Again. I said, what? When she, Joy, you have broken up the family again. I say, ma'am, she didn't, uh, what? what? When she told the, the production, you know, he is abandoning me again. Like he did 10 years ago. I, I got to go in the house. I was like, ma'am, he went to prison. <laughs> he didn't abandon you. He went to prison. They sent him to prison. And Joy and Red and rolled off. This is like, Mama, why? Mama, <laughs> I was like, y'all crazy. The, the mama face was like, you going to abandon me? Is that what you going to do, Red? Really? And Joy, you okay with him abandoning me? I said, I guess so. I get, girl. Now, Red and Joy, I believe, are going to be on the new season of Life After, but it's going to be them in New Mexico. Girl, and it can't, if it don't work out, <laughs> that man go back to mom's house. Okay? But, I mean, trying to force him to stay, I get that he's wanting more time to visit with him. You know what I'm saying? I, I, fully, get, I fully get it, but the whole story, I'm like, I hope you better hope you don't never need me. And Joy, you ruined the family. I was like, Joy ain't do shit besides get that man some cooch. Child, let's give it to Andy and Brittany. I don't understand. Andy and Brittany gives me the white version of Vernika and Asante. Meaning, a couple who hasn't been dating too long. Because Asante, I think Asante and Vernika was maybe a year or two, maybe at the most. It, I, I, I don't know, it may have been like nine or ten months. I don't, yeah, I think it was like a few months. And Andy and Brittany have, have been dating for less than a year, too. And the same way Asante and Renika, you know, Asante kind of used Renika to get out of jail, got a little bit of cooch one night, whatever. Got a, you know, got a few things, a little, little dollar here, a little dollar there. Um, it's the same way Brittany kind of used Andy and was trying to get more out of him. And now she's like a rat caught in a trap, trying to gnaw her foot off to get away. And she can't gnaw fast enough. 
hey, she's like a little rat caught in her own trap. And I don't feel bad at all. Okay. So she's talking to production. Wants to convince production that I'm not trying to just get his money. You know, I, that I'm not I'm not being a money hungry whore. Not whore. A money hungry scammer. Because you're not a whore. I didn't mean that. Whore just came out of my mouth easy. I'm not a money hungry, you know, person. You know what I'm saying? But he promised me stuff. You know, he promised me stuff, and I just want what he promised me. Okay. Or that means he's liar. Now, she has been out of jail for two, maybe this may be the third morning. So the first time, the first day she got out of prison, that's the day she went to the kids' birthday party. The second morning she got out of prison was when they woke up in the hotel because she asked them to stay extra at the hotel. So yeah, this may be the third wait, this may be the third day of her be out of jail. And she I want what he promised me, you know. And she's so focused on this little seven hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? You you promised me some not again. She's he said he was gonna give her twelve hundred dollars. He gave her five. And said, I can't get you know, the seven till like on Monday because I had some fraud on my account. But now she's like, you know, you should give me the money. Okay. And she then tell him, well, since your bank only allows you to take out 500 bucks, give me a five. Now, mind you, he gave her $500 two days ago that she says she gave to her kids. I don't believe her. I don't believe her. Um, but she wants the another five because he said I can get five out the bank. He was like, oh, fine, fine, fine. And I was like, that's crazy. Now, any like I did make her promises that I didn't have to promise her. Because I did say I could do things for her. You know what I'm saying? And then stuff I, I didn't have to do, but now she treat me like shit. And again, she's only been out three days. <laughs> I don't even think he's hugged and kissed her or that she's hugged and kissed him. So like she's treating him like a piece of shit. She is. It, it, is, it is what it is. Okay. So he like, look, fine. Let's go to the bank. You can ride with me. Are you sure? Are you going to drive to the bank and then come back here? He's like, yes, get in the car. Right. So you're going to drive to the bank and come back here, right? You're safe to drive because I don't feel safe. You know, you're scaring me. I don't feel safe. Right? I was like, bitch, then leave. If you do not feel safe, why are you, why are you asking someone who does not make you feel safe to one give you money? And, I just can't. I can't. I, I Brittany is a scammer, plain and simple. Plain, and she's always been a scammer. Now I'm not saying Andy did not promise to give her things in hopes that that would entice her to stay with him because he's an older man. He's fat. I'm fat too. He's fat, a little bit bald. But he seemed nice. You know what I'm saying? And then she like this. So, I mean, they match. What you want me to do? No tea, no shade. Okay? But I feel like he was like, let me, you know, tell her I can, I can help her. But I don't think he meant if you get out on Tuesday, by Wednesday, I'll get you a new car. By Wednesday, I have all this. I think he meant overtime. Yes, I can help you do A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And I think she feel like you should have it for me right now. I should have got out of prison with a new car with a bow on it. A thousand million dollars. Okay. A phone that I can get in my own name, a car that it got shit to do with you. She wanted stuff in her name to be able to run. Okay. They go to the ATM machine, gets the flip 500 or whatever. And he said, I hope the fact that she sees I'm giving her the money. Like, I'm not lying. Like, here, you know, he like, I don't care about the money. You know what I'm saying? They get back to the house and she instantly starts a fight. <laughs> this minute, he in the kitchen. She's like packing up her stuff. He's like, what's, what's this? Is she packing? Now she's talking to production while he's in the kitchen. 
And she's like, you know, I guess, you know, this is the closest I'm going to get to the money he has for me. I guess is all I can get. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, again, he gave her $500 two days ago. So she's making it seem as if he's only, no, he's giving you $1,000. Now, he promised to give her twelve, but he's giving you 1000 He don't owe you, he doesn't owe you that money. He, he don't have to give it to you. Um, and again, you're asking for all of it so fast because she don't want to be there. It's that simple. She wants to go somewhere and get high or just go somewhere and not be with him. Okay. So she's telling her, he's been lying to me. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't trying to give me any money. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to trick me into thinking you'll give me the money. Okay. Because I'm on papers now and I, I don't want to go back to jail. So I'm looking like, but ma'am, he gave you the money. Like, he gave it to you. Now, it may be short to on a bus, but again, he didn't owe you the money. Okay. And she's like, you know, I have my license, but I can't take the car he says he's going to give me because it's in his name. I can't take the phone he gave me because it's in his name and the phone is over 500 bucks. So if I get, if he says I stole it, it's the felony charge, and I go, I'm like, <sighs> she's making every excuse. To, this is my thing. Andy is weird, but she's really making it seem like he is an ex-murdering man who wants to keep her locked up in the house and not go nowhere, and not like they were not having this relationship that was supposed to be great, and the, the minute she got out, she instantly was like, I need them. Where's the money? Where's the money? I need that money, Nate. Where is it? Give me that money now. And when he was like, I can give it to you on Monday. No, why can't I get it now? Go me, where's the I'm like, it's weird. Okay. So again, he like, what is she doing? He like, what, what are you doing? What's going on? And she's bagging, she's packing her stuff. He's like, what the fuck is he said, I'm getting my stuff. He said, you, you need some help? No. He's like, okay. He's like, what's, what's going on? I need some space. Okay. I need some space. I need my kids. And I am very disappointed in you. Okay. You've been lying to me about the money, about being a girl dad, about being good with kids, about giving me a car, and blah, 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 blah. I'm like... What? He like, see that I haven't lied. I have not lied. You know, I don't know what, what I haven't lied. I'm like, you haven't even. First of all, I feel like the daughters said that shit to piss her off, to try to ruin what they had. I don't feel like the daughters really feel like he was a bad parent. You know what I'm saying? Because the son don't seem like. He was a piece of shit parent. You know what I'm saying? The son seemed to love that. Okay. So part of me do feel like the daughters was like, you know, he was never around because they was pissed off of the daddy. And so she's using that against him too because I want to leave. So I'm going to pull out all these little things I can say was lies and untruths. Okay. And he's like, okay, well, I'll, I'll love you to it. And he said, I'll leave you to it because she was packing and he walked away. I'm, I'm happy he did not like try to convince her to stay. I also wish he would say, well, can I have my money back? If you're leaving, then why do you need my money? Because you had me take you to get some money and you instantly came back and started packing to leave. So you did it to get the money to leave. Okay, I, I need that money back. Because if you're going to leave the cell phone he got you, leave the money he gave you, too. You know what I'm saying? And he like, you know, everything I did for us, like, I did it for us. Like, I was doing things. Like, he moved and got this house because it was closer to where her daughter stayed. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he did, he was doing things to hopefully have a life with her. And she act like he wasn't shit. I was like, bruh. And we like, you know, you can't, you can't fuck with both feelings. And she's on my feelings I've been fucked with. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. Now, she already told us she left her cell phone in, in his car. Her daughter calls his phone because she's outside walking around outside somewhere. 
She's like, hey, you know, my mom isn't answering the phone. He's like, oh, I, don't, I don't know why, you know. Well, is, is she there? He's like, she's around her somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, is everything okay? He's like, well, you think you're fine. Mm -hmm. Now, he could have said, well, she's a bit upset with me. He could have told her things were not fine. But I feel like for him, if she wants to leave, that's fine. Because I'm not mad. It's her. So he could have said, well, she's a little bit upset. She wants to leave, but I think that may have caused more panic in the daughter. So he's like, well, no, she's fine. Well, can you have her call me? He's like, I sure will. And he don't know that she left the phone in the car. And the daughter means the phone, maybe the battery's dead and she just don't know it's dead or whatever. But I was like, Jesus Christ, okay. Um, but she outside with her boxes and her bags. And it's like strange. It was like, who's like driving around. She's like, hey, do you have a phone? That acts a phone? He said, not one that works. I said, what do you mean not one that works? Child, I was in the phone. And the fact that production, like, <laughs> hasn't given her a phone, it's funny to me. She Look, let her ass walk. If she wants to leave, then leave. Look, and he, and he bet not drive her ass nowhere. No. She, call your daughter and have her come get your ass, okay? And when you come back, you better don't come back. Do not come, girl. It could, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Okay. Lastly, hey, yeah, Brittany and Key Rock. Um, they will also be on the next season of Life as a Lockup. This was not was it boring? It was a bit boring. You know, Brittany really wants to have this conversation with the doctor about going through IVF because initially it was like, okay, because Key Rock. Brittany feel like Key Rock should save or store some of his eggs because later in life, if he ever wants to have children, if he ever wants to have biological children of his own, he could do that by having his eggs fertilized. And I understand what it is, okay? And he like, I don't care about that. We should not be discussing pregnancies. We're too young. And it's him, the mama, and it's him, the mama, and Brittany talking. And Brittany, like, first of all, we're not going to talk to that, get it done. But because she's like, yeah, we are young now. However, I'm 23 now, but in five years when I'm 28, I may not have the same egg that I have now. Or you won't have it either. Because she, she said, we have to prepare for what we may have to do in five or six years. So we should go just get the information. And, you know, the mom says she's right, you know, because you may not know. And Brittany, like, I just feel like, you know, later on in life, he may regret not doing it. Because right, right now, Key Rock only focus, is only focused on him transitioning, testosterone shots. He's only concerned with what he wants. He don't care what Brittany won't. Truthfully, he doesn't. Okay. If what Brittany won't happens to coincide with what he wants, then he cool with it. Other than that, he don't care. He he don't want to discuss it. He don't want nothing. T Rock is still toxic. Period. You hear me? So because Brittany and the mom, like, okay, you just do it, do it. He agrees to go see the doctor. Okay. So at the doctor's office or whatever, you know, they're and again, they're only getting the information about what they would need to do to do IVF. Now, the mama then said at one point, you know, y'all could always adopt and breathe that we can. Cool. But I want to carry my child. And I want to be sure that things can happen. She said, because even if we use Key Rock's eggs and then got them fertilized with a sperm donor and then I carry, the baby still would not be biologically mad. So I do want to carry a child of my own eventually. And I think he Rock may want a child of his own bloodline too. He Rock may not want kids because you know there's a, a history of cancer in the family. And when he said to the mama, you the first one in our family to you know to be cancer, that's huge. I think that's why Key Rock don't want kids that are biologically his because he's scared of that. You know what I'm saying? Now, at the doctor's office or whatever, 
he's still very resistant to even the conversation among kids or whatever, okay? But let's see, like, the doctor said, look, you would have to be off the testosterone for three months, then take some kind of, I think some kind of stimulation medication for three weeks, and then get back on your testosterone. Um, but after he took the medication, they would, you know, retrieve his eggs, and then have them fertilized elsewhere. And then if he ever later in life wanted to use those to have kids, they would be a part of him too. His thing is, I like I said, if you get off the testosterone for months, it's going to mess with your body mentally as well. You know what I'm saying because it's going, it's going, it's going to probably freak you out. Um, so that is something to discuss. Uh, and Key Rock just does not want to get off testosterone at all, okay? And Brie, like, I just think he gonna regret it. You know what I'm saying? If he don't do it. Uh, and the doctor, like, well, do you want to have any surgery later on, Key Rock? And he said, well, yeah, I want to have for sure top surgery. You know what I'm saying? Because you can tell now Key Rock wears a very tight um, either sports bra to, you know, flatten his chest even more or some kind of binder to bind his boobs down. You can see it a little bit through his shirt. And he said, I want to have the top surgery. Uh, and I said, do you, do you want to have, you know, the other surgery, the, the bottom surgery too? And then he said, well, you know, I would consider having bottom surgery later on, um, meaning he don't, he may not want to do that. You know, that's, that's a lot. Of and the doctor then said, you know, you could... You know, do what you want to do. And Key Rock Man says the doctors who like did whatever with him when he was in the hospital or in prison um, told him that it seemed like he could have been trans from birth because they tested whatever with him, how he had a very high level of male hormones in his system before transitioning. And they said it was it was higher than any normal or average woman. So he could have always been this. He could have been born with more male in him than um, an average woman. He then says, oh, that's kind of crazy. And then he brings up how he was after a twin and that he had a twin brother who died during childbirth. And then he came out three days later. So the mama pregnant with twins, boy and a girl. Key Rock, who was who was the girl, and had a brother, and the brother, the male twin, died, and he said, and then three days later, he came out, and I'm like, I have never heard, like, I, I just feel like I've never heard of people delivering babies three days apart, because I'm like, wouldn't they just you know, give her a C-section and get that baby out. But I feel like if maybe they were premature and then one baby was born premature and they left the other baby in to be sure to have a little bit more growth, maybe that was what happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when he said, you know, they told me I was a miracle baby because again, my brother died, I came three days later, and then I'm also trans and he said they so you know that's what it is the, the doctor said you know that means you're you're you know you're here for a reason you know what i'm saying and so Kira, i don't understand how folk don't understand trans and blah blah blue you know my daddy was so resistant about it blah blah blue and the doctor's like you know we all are born you know what i'm saying in our own unique, unique way so like no one's the same okay keep right things like i keep keep <laughs> right like i just want to be able to he said i was i i transitioned in prison and so, because I transitioned in prison, I just want to be able to be myself as a male on the outside, uh, engaged in life as a trans person, you know what I'm saying, and be who I can be or whatever uh, outside of prison. And I, he's like, I ain't, <laughs> that's what I was. And when she then said, I meaning Brittany was like, so like when you, because I said, well, I can, you know, I can write up all your options for IVF and blah, 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 and what you can do and blah, 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 blah. 
And then Brittany then said, hey, can you put down how much it's going to cost? They're like, yeah, sure. What kind of insurance do you have? Oh, Medicaid. I said, the minute she said they had Medicaid, I was like, Medicaid covers a lot. You know what I'm saying? Medicaid is no longer like crappy insurance or whatever. There are some good Medicaid plans. However, I don't know how much, because the doctor didn't say, well, I can refer you to three places that will take your insurance to possibly do the whole IVF thing. I was like, girl. I just feel like it's one thing if you are in a situation to where you just don't have other coverage. So you have to have Medicaid to have your regular needs. But I feel like if you are on Medicaid and any kind of assistance, why are you trying? Because IVF is expensive. It's expensive. Um, so I'm like, she gotta be focusing on can y'all like some good jobs, some good old insurance to cover all this. Because I was like, girl, Medicaid, it ain't nothing wrong with Medicaid, ain't nothing wrong with it. But I, I, personal opinion, I feel like if you have state Medicaid, you should not be around here looking to have. $20,000 procedures to have kids because if you on state Medicaid, that means nine times out of 10, let's say eight times out of 10, you, you're you on some kind of assistance. You, you need assistance. So I was like, girl, focus on life. And I don't mind them getting the information. Because then she said, in five years, but I'm 28, I, I need to know what I want to do. Brittany really should leave Key Rock ass alone and go get pregnant by somebody and let it be. Because Key Rock said, I'm not worried about having no kids at all. That ain't even on my mind. At all. And I was like, y'all don't want the same things. Key Rock wants to focus on Key Rock. Key Rock wants to focus on his transition. Key Rock wants to focus on Key Rock. Key Rock not even thinking about what he and Brittany going to be in five years. He isn't. He is thinking about how he will be in five years with his transition. Period. Done. Okay. Anyway, that's all. That's it. Okay. I hope y'all enjoyed. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Comment in the comment section. Also, share this video. And also, follow me on social media at Jamie's Corner on IG, Twitter, and Tick of the Time. I gotta go. I will talk to y'all later on. Um, it is currently 2.30 in the morning, so I probably will not have <laughs> Love Emmered up as a premiere because I'm about to go to bed, okay? But I'll probably be live sometime around 5 tomorrow, 5 p.m. Eastern time and whatnot. But I gotta go, y'all. I love y'all.